Are you currently working on an M&A deal? Or are you actually about to sign? Well, then let's have a look at the EU Foreign Subsidies Regulation, the so-called FSR, and how it could impact your costs, timing, and maybe even legal certainty of the transactions. The FSR aims to establish a level playing field in the EU internal market and addresses distortions to competition caused by foreign subsidies in the internal market. It introduces inter alia a filing regime for certain large M&A deals and joins merger control and FDI filing requirements. It will apply actually to all kind of investors, irrespective of where they are located or in which industries they are active in. A foreign subsidy is a financial contribution conferring a selective benefit to an undertaking active in the EU internal market. So whereas for a foreign subsidy a selective advantage is a requirement, this is not the case for a financial contribution, which is a very broadly defined term. And uh, the mapping and analysis of these financial contributions will be a very, very complex and uh, costly exercise in the future. There will be an ex-ante notification requirement with standstill obligation if certain thresholds are met. The first threshold is that the target must be established in the European Union, e.g. through a subsidiary or a branch. In terms of figures, in an acquisition the target must have achieved a turnover of at least Euro 500 million in the EU. For joint ventures, the turnover of the respective joint venture would be relevant. The second prong under the FSR is that the undertakings concerned must have achieved foreign financial contributions from non-EU governments or entities whose actions can be attributed to non-EU governments in the amount of 50 million euros in the three years preceding the transactions. The 50 million euro threshold is combined and aggregated. So it is relevant that the target and the acquirer combined achieved this amount of foreign financial contributions. Filing requirements are potentially very burdensome. Parties need to start mapping their foreign financial contributions in order to be prepared to provide the relevant information. This is still the case also under the new implementing regulation in which the requirements have been substantially relaxed in comparison to the first version published in February this year, e.g. the draft implementing regulation which we now have eases how to look at private equity fund structures and the thresholds for relevant foreign financial contributions have been substantially increased. However, it is still important that the parties consider the implications for legal certainty, timing and costs of an M for an M&A deal of an application under the Foreign Subsidies Regulation. The Foreign Subsidies Regulation has been implemented the 12th January 2023. It will start to apply on 12th of July this year. After the 12th of July, the European Commission will have the power to ex officio investigate foreign financial contributions, respectively foreign subsidies. The second relevant date is the 12th of October. After the 12th of October, transactions will have to be notified to the European Commission if they meet the relevant thresholds under the FSR. This date is also relevant for transactions that sign after the 12th of July and do not close before the 12th of October in case they meet these thresholds. If you have any questions, get in touch with us or have a look at our Clifford Chance website where we published briefings on the FSR, in particular dealing with the implications for M&A transactions, the European Commission's ex officio powers, as well as the implications for
for public procurements.